Okay, so we are, the, the seminar is, uh, webinar is sponsored by, by Steramis, so I want to talk a little bit about Steramis for a minute. And in this case, Steramis was a product that was uh, derived from DARPA, a federal agency, and it was developed by the DARPA group, okay? And it was, it was acquired by um, Tomi. And the work that was done by DARPA and has subsequently been done by Tomi has been that we have done all the registration with the product with the dispersal of the liquid. In other words, all the efficacy studies that, are, that you will see that are in your packets or that we talk about is we take the solution, we put it through a particular um, plasma arc, we get a certain reactive species, which I'll talk about in a minute, and we measure the kill rate. Okay, so we're the first and only company that has done that with any of the fogging, misting technologies. Okay, does that take time? Yes. Does it cost money? Yes. It's a very difficult process. We had to basically rewrite all the EPA studies, and we'll get into that a little bit more. Okay, so in the case of, of Steramis, we, we start out with a 7.8% peroxide solution. We pass it through a plasma arc, a cold plasma arc, and what does that do? It breaks apart the hydrogen peroxide into its ions, okay? So you have double bonds on the oxygen, and we're splitting those apart, and we're making OH and water. The OH is the active ingredient. It's not the peroxide. It's the OH is the active ingredient. It kills on contact. It's less than a three-second kill. Okay, so this is really unique uh, kind of technology. It was used in New Jersey for the anthrax uh, disinfection of the post offices. That's how it came about. It was developed to deal with the anthrax issue. Okay? They had gone into the Jersey post offices and used chlorine dioxide. They couldn't get rid of the spores. Anthrax is a spore former, and as you know, it's very dangerous. So the beauty of it is, is that we started out with peroxide. We changed it to a hydroxyl ions. Okay? So there's a little bit of peroxide left that's not converted okay, in the environment, but there's nothing else. So you have nothing left on the surfaces. You have nothing to wipe away. All you wait for is the dispersal of the OH ions, which takes, takes about seven minutes, and you're done. Okay, so that's how Steramist works. Okay, we'll get more into it in, in a minute. But Okay, any questions on that so far? Now, those of you that are not chemists, an OH ion, okay? The easiest way for you to relate to that, anybody know what an OH ion is? Okay, anybody know what a pH is? What's pH? How acid or basic something is, right? So you, you worry about acid, you know, when you're doing your swimming pool, you're, you're worried about, you know, is the pH of the, of, of the water correct? How many, how many hydrogen ions do you have? How many OH ions do you have? Okay, so the OH ion is the basic part, okay, of the molecule. Does that make sense? So that is also the molecule or the ion, not really a molecule, that is responsible for degrading the DNA, degrading the protein, and killing the bacteria or the fungal spores or the C. diff spores. It's very, very active. Now, the other thing that's really critical here is the fact that the OH ions, as they're spraying, are killing. So the dispersal rate of the liquid through the plasma arc is critical to the efficacy of the product. So this is a calibrated phenomenon, okay? So the Tomy uh, personnel will calibrate the units to disperse appropriately, okay? So it's not just simple spraying it through an arc and going. It has to be done at a certain volume and at a certain rate. 